Voilà, During the 1800s, again, France and Britain are at war and it's the Navy that now takes the priority. And here in England we had an Admiral called Nelson. In France there was the Admiral Villeneuve and the British had um, chased the French to Cadiz. And it's there in Cadiz that what we know as the Battle of Trafalgar took place. Now at that time all the ships of the Royal Navy were in fact moored out there. So the person in charge of the Royal Navy at the time, well the Admiral, was Nelson. He had to get from the dockyard out to his ships. And the only way he could do it was to come through the fortifications. And we're going to go on that same um, journey that Nelson took in September 1805. As I say, very few people go through it, so let's move on. You get redoubts, you get long curtains. To go through the um, long curtain, a towel was built. And this is where Nelson came on the 21st of October 1805. This is the only way he could, could get out to his ship. We're going to go through this tunnel. Of course, in 1805, this wasn't there, and this would have just been merely wooden planks. Okay? And he had 800 men on his ship HMS Victory, which we're going to take you to. How did he get his men to all work as a team? So what he did, he sent up flags onto the masts of the ships, and each of the flags was a letter. And the letters, when all put together, said, England expects that every man shall do his duty. And they did. But unfortunately, Nelson, who's only five foot six, was a very, very vain man. And so what he did, he put all his medals that he'd won on his, which you can see, put all his medals on. So the French ship, the Bouton d'Arbre, comes alongside. Oh, you beautiful. Okay, can you just come forward, please? steamship called the SS Great Britain.
Два монстра. Давай споем. Да!